You hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this channel ad free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and this is the Rickshaw and Retro 51 Sagaiha. Sagaiha is Japanese for blue sea and waves, and it refers to this pattern right here that you see with the overlapping and repeated arcs suggesting waves. These are, this is a beautiful pattern, and this is maybe the best I have seen this pattern done. It has a little bit of a feel to it. You can actually see that it is acid etched there as I give you a close up, but there's nothing jagged or rough here. It gives you a little bit of a grip while you're holding the pen, and it just looks absolutely gorgeous. The finish on this is white nickel, and then uh, underneath is steel that has been acid etched to give you this Sagaiha pattern on the pen. These will be available through Rickshaw Bagworks starting on Monday the 14th of August at noon Pacific Standard Time and I can't imagine they're going to last terribly long. There are only 500 of these and 150 of those are a set of pen and mechanical pencil which will be uh, numbered together so that's going to be really nice. They also have on the pen anyway a really beautiful finial up here with just like the center of that Sagaiha pattern up in there. And it is gorgeous. So these pens are going to run you 65 bucks, and they will come with a Rickshaw Bagworks sleeve that is in performance denim. It's like a denim sailcloth, and it feels feels dense and nice with a nice uh, plush interior to keep your pen all safe. So it'll be the pen and the sleeve for 65 bucks. The set will be 130 and it will come with a two pin koozie, which will hold, of course, your pen and your pencil. Uh, so uh, that's um, that's actually a really good deal for this pen uh, with a pen case. I, I really like that. Uh, let's say, take a look at this one next to some other pens I have from Retro that have been uh, in the acid etched metal series here. So here it is next to uh, the fossils. This is a museum one. This one has like a tire tread sort of situation. A lot of these I actually don't know the name of. <laughs> this one is the armadillos. Uh, so it's got like this armadillo pattern in there. This one is rhinoceroses and elephants. This one is the metal system that uh, came out a little while ago. Just gorgeous pens. But man, this one really, this one really stands out with that white nickel finish. That was an awesome choice. It really just catches the light and it looks awesome. So go find this at Rickshaw Bagworks on Monday, uh, hopefully noon PST. You will be ready to hit uh, buy, buy, buy one of these because it's great. It's a beautiful pen. Also, this is an artist proof. It says AP up here. Uh, it, it is not one of the 500, so I'm not taking anybody's place, but um, yeah, yeah. So thank you very much, Mark, for giving me this pen to show to people because I, I kind of can't stop showing it off. It's Gorgeous. Look at that pattern. It's kind of mesmerizing when you turn it. These, of course, take the rollerball refill right here, uh, and you can unscrew the nose cone here to replace that rollerball refill if you have another one that you like better, or if you like a ballpoint. I'm a ballpoint guy. I'll probably go ahead and throw a ballpoint in here because it will take some Parker-style ball ballpoint refills as well. So, yeah, this is a pen that I think is going to be staying in my pocket for quite a while in its matching pen sleeve in performance denim. Whew. Look at that. It's a guy who pattern looks so good on this denim. I really love it. All right. So this is just a banger of a combo. And I, uh, I suggest you go grab one uh, if you get the chance. So until next time, peace out.